Hello my loyal companions, welcome back to the channel and to another complete rogue guide. Here today we're going to be looking at Dahlia. In the video we'll be going in depth into her kit, looking at her weapons, abilities and perks. I'll then be giving you an idea of how to upgrade her within game and give you some playstyle tips to help you play her a little bit more effectively. If you do go on to enjoy the video or learn something new, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. But for now, let's get into it. Dali is labelled as a support rogue within the game due to her revive mechanic of her ability and her different utility options that she has that can really help the team. However, she is not limited to this supporting role and depending on how good you are with her, she can be played offensively, defensively, as a support or in any other playstyle you choose. Dale is the most versatile rogue currently within the game with so many different options and pathways you can go down and it all depends on how you are as a player and what the situation is and how you can read what is going on and what kind of playstyle you want to play. I'll talk about the different options and playstyles you can have with her later on in this guide. For now though, let's look at what makes Dahlia Dahlia by looking at her passive, Buddy Up. Dahlia's passive is very simple. You pick a teammate and whatever rogue they have, you link to them permanently throughout the rest of that round of the match and you take their passive. So for example, if you take Scorch, who has a passive of immunity to fire, Dahlia will then also become immune to fire. It's very simple to make this link and a very obvious in game. You just look at the teammate that you want to link to and you press the abilities button. And this will lead on to what her ability does, which is called Danger Close. When Dahlia is within 30 meters of her linked teammate, she has the ability to revive them from range. There's no delay in the time it takes for that revive to start kicking off, like St. Jerome, which has a two second travel time to the destination. With Dahlia ability, you just simply use it uh, and the teammate will start instantly reviving. Uh, it's a five second natural cooldown for the revive, same as standard. And then as you buy the perk lifeline, that will drop, but we'll talk about that more in the perk section. This revive is very good because it doesn't disable your ability to move and shoot and be active on the map while that revive is going off. You can just do it and passively have it working in the background while you're covering your teammates. Dalit is very versatile because she can link to many different people with her passive and you can choose different reasons to link to them. You can link to someone for their passive, you can link to someone just because you know you want to revive them and there's a bunch of different ways you can do that. But Dalit is also versatile in her basic kit so let's have a look now at her weapons. So Dahlia's first weapon is the Objection SMG, which is a very, very fast fire rate and very low time to kill SMG with pretty bad range, but absolutely tears through bullets and has very low recoil. As you upgrade this weapon, the first upgrade at tier 1 will reduce that recoil even further, so it's an absolute laser. You then increase the reload speed at tier 2, and at tier 3 you increase the damage range and suppress its fire. One note on the objection is that it only has 30 rounds in it and that cannot be upgraded at any point and that is very low amount of bullets for the fire rate it has so that's kind of the payoff of having such a high fire rate you have low ammunition. Her other weapon is the MXR which is a DMR. Uh, this is a very fast firing DMR as well with very deadly damage and is one of the strongest guns in the game at the moment. As you upgrade this at tier 1 you increase the magazine size from 12 to 18, you increase the damage range of the weapon at tier 2 and at tier 3 you suppress its fire and reduce its recoil. Her pistol is very standard and the most common pistol, which is the Executioner, uh, a very good pistol uh, that can compete with some DMRs and ARs at long ranges uh, if you're able to hit your shots and typically headshots accurately. And as you upgrade this at tier 1, you increase the magazine size from 12 to 16 and you increase its hip fire accuracy and reduce its recoil at tier 2. Her melee weapon is the Katana. We spoke about this with Shark, but it's a very versatile melee weapon, having a good ability to throw it or swing it depending on what situation you need and the upgrades really help with that at tier 1 increasing that throw damage to 125 and at tier 2 increasing the swing damage to 50. The preferred weapon at the moment is probably the MXR just because of how powerful DMRs are currently within the game. They are due to get a nerf soon so this might change but realistically either weapon is good for Dahlia and can be dependent on the playstyle you want. If you want to hold back if it's a longer range map like Vice or Windward perhaps you want uh, the MXR. If it's a shorter range map or you have a lot of long range rogues with you like a Phantom and a Dallas then potentially the objection is a better choice so you can get up close and personal with enemies. A lot of things with Dahlia is dependent on you reading the situation carefully and making an informed decision and this is why I don't really recommend her for newer players because she is generally better the better you are at the game and the more knowledge you have about the game. Going on to her gadgets though, her first gadget is the smoke grenade which is one of the most powerful tools in the game especially in uh, competitive and probably ranked play. Um, the smoke grenade offers uh, a really good zone control by throwing and blocking off a line of sight. It's also good for cover and revives and I spoke about this in a video uh, here on the channel. The first upgrade of the smoke will increase the smoke duration and actually slow enemies and teammates who travel, try and travel through it. 
The second upgrade will increase the gadget count by one, meaning you can hold two smoke grenades. Her other gadget is the standard grenade, which is a thrown projectile with a cook time before detonation of four seconds. This has a fairly decent blast radius and good damage and has a lot of opportunity to open up for picks, but you do have to be good with it and know that cook time uh, very well and learn it for different spots and different maps. The first upgrade of the grenade will increase the blast radius and the second tier 2 upgrade will increase the damage to 125. Not only does her kit offer for a lot of versatility and adaptability to the situation, but her perks also enable her quite well. Dahlia at the 4000 category has Shredder Rounds and Cloaked, at 6500 has Tenacity and Stalker, and at 10,000 has Lifeline, which is a new perk, and Replenished. The big perks you want here on Dahlia are Tenacity and Lifeline. They are a must, a core piece of her kit. Tenacity is just amazing. Taking reduced damage from explosives when utility and grenades and Semtex and C4s are so strong is really crucial. And then Lifeline is the new um, perk that has been added. And this is very similar to the Helping Hands perk, which offers a quicker revive, but it's just even better. And I'll explain why. What this perk does is it reduces the revive time from 5 seconds to 2.5, whereas Helping Hand only does it from 5 seconds to 3 seconds. The other part of the perk though is it will start the health regeneration of whoever you revive immediately. So normally they'll get up and start at 30 health, wait a few seconds and then start regenerating. With Lifeline, you'll pick them up at 2.5 seconds and they'll immediately start regenerating a health when they're back in the fight by 3-4 seconds. This is an amazing, amazing perk and is so fitting for that 10,000 category. It is a must to buy on her and you'll be so useful to your team once you have it. It also has a quicker revive for your ability by getting this. It works the same. And this is kind of compared to Saint Drone, but there's a big difference of why it's better than Saint Drone. Not only um, is the revive time faster, getting lifeline over helping hand, you go from just a three second with helping hand to 2.5 second, but you have to count in the travel time of the drone. So with Saint Drone, it takes two seconds to get there and then a three second revive. And it's five seconds from the moment they go down to the moment they're back up. And yes, they come back with 80 health because it's Saint passive. But with Dahlia, they go down, you can immediately activate your ability if you're within the range, and then they're back up at 2.5 seconds and ready to fight almost certainly. So Dahlia with Lifeline, if you compare it to Saint with Helping Hands and his drone, is actually half the speed, and that's why it's so quick and why it feels like Dahlia getting people up and ready to fight so much quicker than a Saint could. Let's now go on to my recommendation for upgrading Dahlia, and of course I split this into three different sections, the high priority, interchangeable, and low priority or situational, and I put the rounds next to the different options of buying based on the average amount of money you're likely to have for the rounds. In round one you need to pick up either the grenade or the smoke, utility again is king in this game so you need one of them. The difference of when you might get one is the grenade if you're looking to be offensive or flush people out of positions, and the smoke if you're looking to push, push aggressively through bad lines of sight and want to smoke it off for a better angle. This comes with map knowledge and just general playtime. You then want to pick up her primary weapon of choice. Personally, DMR, the MXR is working better at the moment, but the objection, as I've mentioned, can have its place depending on the map. Then you for sure want to be focusing tenacity, lifeline, and the other piece of equipment somewhere within those initial first three or four rounds, depending on how much cash flow you get. You need to get those things set up first before you start putting money into other things. Then from there, once you've got that core kit of Dahlia, you're ready to sort of experiment on different things. You can buy the Katana, which again, just depending on how you are with melee weapons, I personally prefer if you get the MXR to get the Katana because then you have an up close option but if you have the objection you don't necessarily need it as much. You can then look at getting your first two weapon upgrades. For both the weapons the first two upgrades is generally better. You can get away with just the first upgrade for the objection um, but you don't need to get the third upgrade on either. It's not super important but it depends whether you like it or not. You should definitely be looking at upgrading the smoke grenade and the frag grenade at some point as well. Both of them offer a lot of good utility and getting the extra gadget is really useful or for the grenade getting the extra damage is again really really useful. So look at upgrading them as part of your core kit if you get a good excess of money. Then if you've got a lot of money get that third weapon upgrade and also get replenished because that's a good perk for her. And then the type of situational things that you could get but I wouldn't necessarily recommend are of course the melee upgrades, the pistol upgrades uh, and then the other perks that I haven't mentioned. Let's now go on to Dahlia's playstyle and I'm going to start by talking about the best links that you can make with her passive going into the games and different situations that you might want to link with different people. There's three ways you can decide to use your link and I'm going to go over each of them briefly for you. The most obvious one is linking to somebody who has a passive you want. The best current passives to link for are Lancer for the roll reload, Saint for the additional health on a revive, or Trench for the double gadgets. 
In competitive play, Trench Dali is the biggest combo at the moment and is really good because they have the double MXR, which is so strong. They have Trench utility and then they have double Dali utility and it's really dominating the scene at the moment. You can also link to somebody who you know you want to revive. So this could be someone like your Bomb Planter, someone who you know is going to go down or is going to go and tank a lot of damage right at the start or might get picked. So you want to revive them so that uh, they can survive. You could also choose to uh, link to somebody who you know you want to pair up with just because you're going and fighting together if, if you feel like your other team is a kind of weak and you know one person is going to help you carry maybe linking to them so that they can revive constantly will be a good idea and then the third option of how you could do your link is you can save it and wait until somebody actually goes down on your team then link to them and get them up this is riskier and is less effective because you don't get whatever passive it is off the bat but it can help in clutch situations just so that you can revive whoever goes down initially this is generally better if there's not a passive that you really want on your team. For example, if there's a Vi whose passive is completely useless with Dahlia, or Dallas's, which is just a less effective passive, or anyone else who's just, you know, you're not 100% that you really want these passives. You can wait, you can link to someone when they go down, and just use it as a revive mechanic. But Dahlia isn't all about the revive. She's not just a support, because even though she's labelled as this, you can play a supportively kind of similar to how you would play a Saint, just waiting for that revive, staying safe, trying to survive, and throwing smokes out to help your team and just using good utility. Or there are different playstyles you can use. I'm going to go over the aggressive playstyle now. So you could use this with either gun because both guns are really good, but you want to be focusing on getting frag grenades, trying to flush people out of positions and push heavily with whatever gun you choose and try and beam people, not worrying too much about whether you're the first one to go down and not get your revive off. If you're a good player and you're winning your fights, you'll generally survive and you'll get that revive off if your teammate goes down. This is really good for like a pairing buddy system. Two of you go in, you and the person you're linked to, you hope they get down first so you can get your revive off and you're just this kill squad. And this is good if you're an aggressive player and you're confident in your gun play and your uh, outplay potential then going in with this more aggressive playstyle is definitely an option um, for example if you link to a lancer you can use a roll reload with the smg and just start shredding through having a double lancer combo essentially just tearing up the back line on a flank but you could also play it more defensively you can sit back with the dmr for example link to someone like a saint or a trench have the extra utility and just sit back wait for them to push you you get some kills with a DMR, grenade it to flush out positions, make sure they're not peeking, smokes, they can't push around certain corners without uh, not being able to see, and using a more defensive playstyle. You can really adapt between any of these playstyles throughout the round itself, and just be a bit versatile with it. This is generally going to be my biggest tip for Dahlia, and it's just to not limit yourself to one particular playstyle or one particular mindset of thinking. She is the most versatile, most adaptable rogue within the game, not just because of who she links to, but because of all these other factors as well, because she's got such a great kit around her, and she's just so effective. One other really big tip, though, I will want to say is that you want to be the person reviving people if you have Lifeline. It's just so quick, and you start a health regeneration immediately. If you can get it off, or if there's like a there's a situation where you think you might be pushing your teammates down, you're questioning the revive, just do it. It's so quick. You'll get it off most likely, and they'll be ready there to help you on that fight. Dali is not the kind of rogue I would recommend for new players. She has so much to her kit and so much core knowledge needs to be in place before you can use her well. I'd recommend someone playing someone more like a Ronin or a Lancer or a Shark who are a bit more forgiving and then moving on to Dali a bit later on when you're more familiar with the basic game mechanics, with the maps, uh, and then you can start using and using your knowledge a bit more to play her well. If you're looking to get in competitive or just looking to get ready for ranked, definitely pick up Dahlia, make sure you're comfortable with her, you'll be playing against her almost certainly and your team should have someone with her and that could be you and I would recommend her, she will dominate the scene depending on how this MXR nerf goes but we're very excited to see uh, how she's going to do, definitely pick her up if you are a more experienced player. Okay then guys, that's going to take us to the end of the video. If you did enjoy and you are liking these road guides, make sure you leave that like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more that are coming out across the weeks. You can also come follow me on twitch.tv slash redbartgaming to see live game commentaries, guides, Q&As, tournaments and scrims. All the links you're going to need are down in the description below. But for now guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. And remember, be loyal, be brave, be relentless, and I'll catch you in the next video.